had an interesting question on Facebook the other day. The question is, what is hydrolysis? What does that even mean? Well, to put it simply, if you're breaking apart a molecule by reacting with water, it's hydrolysis. If you're starting with a single molecule, I guess it could be more than one, but if you're starting with a molecule and you're putting it with water, and in the end, this molecule is broken somewhere, hydrolysis, that's how it works. There are three main examples I'm gonna show you. The first one is hydrolysis of esters. Now, I don't have to show you, or I don't necessarily even wanna show you the mechanism behind this, but long story short, the oxygen will attack this carbon and end up breaking this bond. What happens in the end is you end up with your CH3, CH2, CH2CO. See how there's that part of the molecule? And separately, we end up with our OCH3. So we've literally just broken that bond, split it apart, and that didn't just happen naturally. It happened because the water, the OH from the water attached itself there, and the H attached itself there. So take a look. What was once one happy mo ester molecule is now a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. This was your original molecule, and now you have your water molecule also broken as the cause. You, we can also have the hydrolysis of acids. This may be something you're more familiar with. When an acid molecule, a Bronsted-Lowry acid molecule, reacts with water, it donates a proton. We actually end up with H3O+, one of these hydrogens attached to the water, and we have HSO4 minus. We've lost an H and we've lost a plus charge with it. Take a look. The H2SO4 is now in two pieces. One of them's here and one of them's attached to the water. The water molecule broke it apart, hydrolysis. The same can happen with hydrocyanic acid. The water will steal an H away from it and the CN is left to its own devices alone and broken. Emotionally, mostly. And finally, we have the hydrolysis of ATP. Now, I don't, I'm not a biologist. I don't really know what this is, but I think this is the most important hydrolysis thing in biology or something. ATP is some molecule in the body. I think it's how you get energy. Don't quote me on that. And it reacts with water to form something called ADP. And this is adenosine triphosphate. This is adenosine diphosphate. And you get some inorganic phosphate floating off the top. I don't know how it happens, but what I do know is that ATP is reacting with water, and ATP is not ATP anymore. It's something different. Boom! Hydrolysis. That's how it works. To recap, hydrolysis is breaking molecules apart by reaction with water. If you have something plus water equals something else, probably hydrolysis. Hey, best of luck.